your future depends on what you do today so take action now it's good to ha- have that larger picture so i was wondering what if each one of us have written instrument which designs our life which drives self commitment actionable steps with much more discipline and focus to achieve what we want to do in our life and it helps you prioritize what is important and a sense of control over your future to design your life with goal setting in the wheel of life which has to be written in a smart way coming together is a beginning staying together is progress and working together is success it's no secret friends you have a purpose and you have the highest potential dream it, dream it believe, believe it, it achieve, achieve it. it so dream big truly believe in it and achieve it 100% to live the life fullest and i want to join hands with you on this mission to learn and grow together to engage enlighten and empower yes this is solo episode of your host jyoti g on stars of learning podcast let's begin hey hi friends i'm so glad that you're joining me today and today is a very special day in india the constitution of india is the supreme law which came into force on this very day 26th january in the year 1950 and it is celebrated as the republic day so the constitution of india is the framework for political principles procedures and powers of the government which is a written instrument embodying the rules of a, a political or a social organization and it provides its people or the citizens with six fundamental rights and these rights are the right to freedom right to equality cultural and educational rights right to constitutional remedies right against exploitation and recently the right to privacy has also been added to this fundamental rights so when i was going through this history of india and i was wondering what if each one of us have this kind of a written instrument which designs our life which drives self commitment actionable steps with much more discipline and focus to achieve what we want to do in our life for very thing of growth and success do you agree with me in this so now that after new year we are all back at work whether that's in an office or at home and i know for sure we are all fully immersed in getting back into the swing of things that we do every day i want you guys to pause and reflect on one thing that did you do your goal setting for the year yes friends if you want success then you need to set these goals with clear focus to design your life the way you want it to be think about it 2021 can be a year of great growth if you design your life with goal setting like famous leader mark twain says without dreams and goals there is no living and it's only merely existing and that is not why we are here right our existence should have a meaning and purpose in whatever we do and our very own mahatma gandhi ji says you may never know what results come of your action but if you do nothing definitely there will be no results then i was wondering how will you move towards your success by the way friends there has been numerous studies on goal setting and it says only 10% of the population in the world have goals and of which only about 2% actually write them down so i was also wondering why does this happen and i was looking for 
multiple reasons for myself. Let me step back a little and share my experience. I'm sure those days government had a five-year plan uh, which was developed, executed, monitored and reported back to people and and I've seen my elders would discuss about it. However, this was never thought to many of us to apply this kind of a plan in our life when we were growing, right? Or sometimes this was never discussed in our family too that we need to have a goal year on year to see progress, success in what we want to achieve in our life. And third, it could be our education system also is another reason. I didn't come across in my schooling or college days about goals and it was all only about tests, exams, homework, parent-teacher meeting. And even now it is the same for my children too. And sometimes, you know, when I interact with few people, they are not serious about goal setting. And when I talk to few of my family members, friends or colleagues, they shove it off saying that's not a priority at all. And few come to me saying that, Jyoti, we don't know how to do it. And that was true in my case too for a few years back. And lastly, what I observe when I'm coaching people, they don't want to write their goals with fear of failure. And they only worry about what if it is not happening, Jyoti. And I question back asking them, what if it happens? I subtly say to them, friends, go and watch this movie, The Bucket List, okay? And come back to me, you know, if you're still ready with a goal-setting plan. So, so what's this movie all about? It's about where two men meet undergoing a cancer treatment and uh, they embark on a journey together with a goal-setting of doing as many things as possible on their wish list before they die. And I was wondering why should we do it at that kind of a moment? Don't you want to reflect when you have a full of life and energy, when you are able to do that in full sense? And let me tell you why it is important to write. And I'm sure you would have come across many people making resolution during the new year or on their birthday and 92% of the people never achieve their goal as they are not clear on what they want to do nor they would have thought end result in mind and that is important friends again my thought is if you don't know what you want to do or where you want to go no advice on the path is ever going to be helpful for you so friends if you are in that situation and asking which road to take then it is the time for you to think how and I'm glad you heard me till now. And I know for sure you're curious to know what is goal setting, what it is all about. So friends, goal setting is the first step. And if you are started, then you're already making 50% progress towards your success. It's when you switch from a passive state to being involved in your life. So setting goals is the key for you to drive to your desired destination. So you need to be clear about that and your goals now will force you to take more action and a useful way of making goals is to have more powerful is to use the smart goals friends. So I'll come back to you about the smart goal. What is that framework? Before that, I want to tell you how I do my goal setting. So it's very simple, not a rocket science at all. So friends, I list out all that I want to aspire in my life and that could be my dream, my desire, whatever I want to achieve and I make all that huge list and then I start prioritizing each one and make conscious decision by when I want to achieve them. Either in one year, three year, five year, ten years, what is that span I have, I have kept for that each list I have put in my thought process. Next step is I distribute them in five category called the wheel of life. Guys, it's called wheel of life to have a balance and achieve goal across all parts of your life. So let me give you some insight what it is because this is something very important guys. You need to pay attention here. 
because when i interact with many people they say oh my god we never thought about all these angles so so guys pay attention here so number 1 is my personal goals okay it's all about relationship family friends children my sibling what's the kind of uh, attention i need to give i jot that down secondly is a professional one and that could be your career your education your learning whatever you want to put in your professional ladder you can put there third is my health one it could be diet weight emotional well being physical well being fourth is about wealth how do you handle your finance how, and you need to plan finance to achieve your goals and fifth one is individual it's all about me it's what i want to do myself for me you know for my benefit my hobbies my dreams you know and my wish list which it's not connected with any of the other aspects which i spoke till now so friends you can design your wheel of life in the way you want it and that's unique to you like one of my students said he wants to add spiritual element to the his wheel of life and one of my colleague mentioned he wants to work towards contribution to the society and he works with lot of ngo so he said he wants to add that and another one member was saying that about he wants to train his mind and emotional health and he wanted to get into you know psychology line and he is into an engineering line and he wanted to get into that so it's your choice you make it your it's your bible so it's up to you how you want to design your wheel of life and what's important is your goals should contribute towards achieving your major life purpose in a meaningful way so it's good to ha- have that larger picture for yourself friends i hope you're clear now why you need to balance your goals through wheel of life as even if there is one aspect of your life becomes the focus and the others are neglected the wheel is out of balance and the aim of goal setting is to see you success in all walks of your life so friends i want to take a pause here i want you to go back and do these two exercise that is prioritizing all the goals you aspire for and distributing it in the wheel of life and we will discuss the last one now in detail that is to evaluate your goals i evaluate by putting it in smart way and that makes your goal concrete and clear to achieve it friends so that's strong you need to make your goals to achieve that milestone like you need that extra 1 degree to get that boiling water into steam right it's the similar way that you need to act on being in, putting these goals in a smart way so let's look at the meaning of a smart goals so smart is an acronym and its s stands for specific m for measurable a for attainable r for relevant and the last is t which stands for time bound so when i say s s is specific and your significant goals has to be listed you need to set well defined goals which has enough detail for you to accomplish and which is clear in your mind for example don't say i want to go on a world tour be specific saying this year you want to complete europe or a asia continent and that is getting into specific the next one in the smart is m that is measurable and it should be meaningful too so friends i want you to guys to identify milestone to track your progress towards meeting your goal as it keeps you motivated and allows you to celebrate when you achieve these goals or else it helps you to reevaluate when you don't achieve them and that's why we need to have it measurable the next word in smart is ea and that is attainable and that is should be action oriented your goals should be challenging yet achievable as achieving your goals is a great confidence booster guys so when you achieve one any of your goals you can feel that yeah what's important is envisioning your goals and look at all skills required 
the challenges you may encounter or what the kind of a support system you would require leveraging these goals and what's critical is you should ensure you don't quit but only focus on accomplishing your goals am i making sense here so friends the next word in the smart is r r is for relevant and that is should be rewarding your goal should be relevant to your overall plan of the wheel of life so reflect on why you want to achieve this please question yourself why this particular goal have i put in this wheel of life the goal is with your objective it will be rewarding when you complete it okay so the last one is t and t stands for time bound finally every goal should have a target time so identify a deadline by which you would like to accomplish this goal ensure this timeline is realistic for your life but also motivates you to push towards accomplishing your goals on time for example if you are doing a world tour like a european continent then did you do it in the first quarter or a second quarter that's the milestone that's a trackable time bound you need to put and you also need to check did you achieve or not achieved so so think about the timeline for your project another example it would be like you know you, you can't put a same timeline if you want to construct a house or buying a ready apartment okay the timelines will be different for each one so friends if you can write a goal that fits each of these criteria you will have a smart goal and that is sure to be much more beneficial than having a regular goal so i hope i am making some sense to you about why goal setting is important and when you have that goals you need to put it in a wheel of life and when you put that in a wheel of life you also need to look at putting it in a smart way guys so there are many benefits with goal setting it gives you clear direction and it helps you prioritize what is important it also boosts your confidence with focus and a sense of control over your future okay it's not blank there you have written something so you want to achieve that with that you gain a purpose with utmost satisfaction while you work towards your goals guys so many guests on my podcast and successful leaders who i interact they say they are strongly goal oriented and that is how they are able to walk the success in their life so what's stopping you you got the nuggets from me now how to make the goal setting so go ahead make your goal setting as a priority to take control of your life so have that laser focus as it creates much discipline and accountability for yourself in what you do to get maximum result and you will reach new heights with success friends and definitely it will motivate you to take more challenging jobs and scale in your life and while you're doing all this exercise celebrate your success and achievements by rewarding yourself so friends your future depends on what you do today so take action now to design your life with goal setting in the wheel of life for 2021 again wishing you a very happy republic day and a happy goal setting which has to be written in a smart way i'm here to assist you if you have any query there are many links and references available when you just do google and do reach out to me for any support you require while you are setting up your goal setting i would be glad to help you thank you so friends i hope you enjoyed this conversation and i am always grateful for everyone who tunes in listens subscribes and have left reviews of my podcast on itunes by the way if you have not done that yet that would mean a world to me head over itunes and i would be happy if you take a moment to rate and comment if you have got any value or learning listening to this podcast do share this amazing information to help many others to engage enlighten and empower thank you once again for joining in and i'm your host 
ज्योति जी साइनिंग ऑफ फ्रॉम स्टार्स ऑफ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट थैंक यू